The overall goal of this procedure is to produce plant material that is highly enriched in carbon-13 and nitrogen-15 uniformly throughout the plant or differentially in structural and metabolic tissues. This is accomplished by first constructing an airtight chamber for plant growth. The second step is to control temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide levels in the chamber to maintain suitable growing conditions for the plants. Next, the plants are grown in the sealed chamber with air containing 13C carbon dioxide and irrigation and fertilization containing nitrogen-15. The final step is to cease labeling by removing the differentially labeled plants from the chamber weeks prior to harvest so that their metabolic material becomes less enriched in carbon-13 and nitrogen-15 as compared to the structural plant components. After harvesting the plant material, hot water extraction and isotope ratio mass spectrometry are used to measure overall isotope labeling and differences in labeling strength. The main advantage of continuous labeling over other methods, such as foliar application or repeated pulse labeling, is that it produces uniformly labeled plant material that can be differentially labeled in its metabolic or structural components. To begin this procedure, construct the labeling chamber as described in the accompanying text protocol by mounting 3.18 mm thick transparent acrylic walls and a 6.35 mm thick transparent acrylic ceiling on an aluminum frame with a white painted steel floor. The dimensions of the chamber can be tailored to suit specific plant growth needs. The chamber shown here measures 1.2 by 2.4 by 3.6 meters and holds 40 15 liter pots. Ensure that the chamber is airtight by covering...